Hi, I'm Dr. Sethi, and I practice cannabis medicine at Sethi Cannabis Clinic in Burlington, Ontario, Canada. This talk is on CBD versus THC. I have uh, another video posted on that. And I'm just going to update this uh, uh, talk a little bit because CBD and THC are so important in cannabis medicine. Um, CBD and THC are major cannabinoids in the cannabis plant, and they're the ones that determine most of the benefits and side effects of cannabis. I'm going to really talk about ingesting the oils, uh, not so much about smoking. There are other videos I've devoted to smoking and inhaling cannabis. So CBD oils um, generally do three things. They reduce anxiety if the correct strain is used. Not all CBD oils reduce anxiety. Some of them can increase anxiety. Um, CBD decreases inflammation, which is the biggest thing CBD does is increase. Sorry, <laughs> did I say increase? CBD decreases inflammation. Um, and, and, and because it decreases inflammation in the receptors throughout your body, including your joints, um, it decreases pain. But not all pain is inflammatory. So CBD doesn't work on everybody, but it, on the whole, it decreases inflammation, which is really great. It also decreases muscle stiffness or muscle spasms. So if you have neck spasm, back spasm, it helps with those things or spasm in your legs. CBD is very beneficial for that. CBD is not intoxicating and not addictive. It will not make you high. Most of the CBD oils... Uh, are come with 20 or 25 milligrams of CBD per milliliter of the oil and the THC content is less than one milligram or zero in some cases, depending on which strain it is. So um, less than one milligram of THC in the CBD oils generally will not have any side effects. So most people, even my elderly patients, tolerate CBD oils fairly well with no side effects. Um, THC, on the other hand, is a psychoactive part of cannabis. When people smoke cannabis, they're smoking THC, they're not smoking CBD. The oils with THC in them are psychoactive. They could make you dizzy when you take too much. You're going to feel really crappy, dizzy, nausea, headaches. So you have to microdose the oils with THC in them. How much THC is in the oil will depend on what ratio of CBD and THC is in the oil. If an oil is half CBD, half THC, it's going to be less psychoactive. It's going to have less side effects. Because CBD will knock down some of the side effects of THC in that oil. So that's why a half and half ratio of CBD to THC oils at night are the most popular. Again, you have to dose it correctly. You have to start at the lowest dose and work your way up. And the first sign of dizziness, you know you can't increase the oil any further. So you have to be careful with the dosing. You can microdose oils with THC and sleep at night and not have any side effects if you dose it properly. THC is generally used by the majority of patients just at night for sleeping because it does sedate you. You cannot drive if you have THC um, uh, that you ingest for six hours and 24 hours if, um, if you're impaired or even longer if you're impaired. So it's very important not to drive when you're impaired with cannabis. So CBD and THC are quite different. CBD is non-intoxicating, non-addictive, decreases inflammation. THC it can, can give you side effects, but THC is very important for sleep and THC also helps with pain control. One of the fewer known facts about THC is that THC also clinically does reduce inflammation. And that's pretty clear from, you know, patients with colitis at Crohn's that they will really use THC and helps with their colitis more than CBD does, which you would think it would be CBD, but really is THC helps their inflammation more. So it's interesting that how THC plays a role in these things. So THC is not um, just uh, to get high. THC is very, very important for sleep and for pain control and synergy with CBD at night. So I hope that helps distinguish CBD and THC a little bit further. Thank you for listening.